Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we are going to do question number 11.23. The question reads, give IUPAC naming of the following ethers. So there are some of the ethers given here, the cyclic rings, uh, aromatic systems and long chain uh, ethers. Let's see how to name them. Alright, so first one is C2H5O, CH2, CH, CH3 and CH3. Now, you should always look at that side of the ether. You have two alkyl chains on both sides of oxygen atom in an ether. What you need to consider is that side of the ether molecule that has a um, longer hydrocarbon chain. Alright, so here if you see on the right hand side, I have a longer hydrocarbon chain here when compared to the other side because the other side has only two carbons. But this side I can have uh, 1, 2 and 3 which is the longest one. Now, how am I going to number them? I'm going to number that carbon which is attached to the ether linkage. Starting from that, I'm going to name that carbon. Now, you're going to name that as a separate alkyl group here. So, this is a propane chain. So, I'm going to put this as propane. Alright. And at position number 2, I have a methyl group. So, I'm going to put this as 2 methyl propane. That's going to be my parent hydrocarbon. What about the other one? On the first carbon, it is having C2H5 along with oxygen. If it was only C2H5, it would be ethane or ethyl chain. But it is having an oxygen also. And when an ether linkage comes as a prefix over here, this will be given as 1-ethoxy-2-methyl-propane. Okay, so it's 1-ethoxy-2-methyl-propane. Let me just write that clearly. Alright, so that is 1 ethoxy 2 methyl propane. Same concept for the second one. I have CH2Cl, CH2CH2Cl on one side and CH3 on the other side. Okay, now in this case what happens is you're going to do the same thing. You're going to consider that side of the of, of the ether linkage which has the longest hydrocarbon chain. So on the right hand side I have two carbons. So I'm going to consider that starting from the functional group which is oxygen. So one, two. Now when you look at this, you need to consider this in such a way that you have ethane, ethane chain given here. Okay, so I'm going to put this as an ethane chain. Alright, ethane is written there. Now, at first position, I have methoxy and second position, I have a chloro group. Now, I have two different functional groups. I am going to name them as per their alphabetical order. So, obviously, 2-chloro will come first. So, this will become 2-chloro-1-methoxy-ethane. Got it? Now, third one is same. I have on one side, uh, I have C... Oh, let me just check this carbon here. This is going to be C6H4 with an NO2 and I have OCH3 on the other side. Let's try and draw this molecule. It has C6H5 here with an OCH3 which is at which in para position that P over there means para and this is the molecule. Okay, now when I have this like this, remember alkoxy chain will be considered as the um, what do you say priority when compared to nitro group so obviously that uh, methoxy group will go in a parent hydrocarbon it has a common name benzene ring with OCH3 is called as anisole alright and when I count this position number 1 2 3 and 4 so I am going to write this as 4 nitro anisole alright so it is an aromatic system then the fourth one is similar on one side I have three carbon chain, on the other side I have only one carbon chain. So this is going to be named as, you are going to have propane chain and the parent hydrocarbon. And this is going to be one methoxy propane. Alright, fifth one is just a cyclo ring with methyl groups over there and I have an OCH2H5. Now here definitely the cyclohexane ring will come as a parent hydrocarbon, that's for sure, no doubt about it. Okay, cyclohexane chain. Now, I am going to have this numbered in such a way that the branched carbon will be given top priority. That's what we have learnt last year when we did it in detail. So, that's going to be given top priority. 
when you move to number them. So this will be 1, 1 dimethyl over here and 4 ethoxy. So obviously when compared to both, ethoxy comes first. So we'll put this as 4 ethoxy, 1, 1 dimethyl cyclohexane. All right. Now, last one is benzene ring with OC2H5. This is very simple. It's just an ethoxy bonded to benzene ring. So you can write this as ethoxy NC. All right. So it's very simple. When you look at an open chain structure, you need to see uh, the side where you have maximum number of hydrocarbon chain and accordingly put them as a parent hydrocarbon. Then the remaining is as usual.